At this time, I would like to call up city council person. I'd rather say city council women. I'm not going to be politically correct. <laughs> Maria Cabrera. Hello, sisters. Hello, brothers who are here supporting the sisters. It is wonderful to be here again, working with my good friend and sister, Lorraine Muhammad. I really admire what she does to bring us together from all walks of life and to unite in the causes that are important in our community, in our city, and as a city leader, facing a lot of, the, of what's going on, the negativity that keeps getting um, advertised about Wilmington, these are the things we need to be advertising, the, the solidarity in our community, people of different faiths, different walks of life coming together, different ages, the women, the elders who are being role models for our young ladies because they need that. We live in a society where there's so much negative information out there changing our young ladies that we need to be these role models for them. So I truly, truly appreciate the work that is being done here by everyone. Um, I did want to speak on something. I was inspired this morning as I was reading something on Facebook about uh, one of the Capri Suns had some mold in it. And one of the things I'm very passionate about is health in our community. I also work, aside from being a councilwoman, as a certified federal navigator with Chapman LLC. And what we do, what that means is that we go out in the community and we teach people about the Affordable Care Act, what that means, why people need to get health insurance now, and how this health insurance is available to you at an affordable cost, or the fact that many people don't know that there has been an expansion of Medicaid, which means that if you have ever been denied in the past, as of October 1st, 2013, the criteria has changed. You can make more money now and qualify for Medicaid. There are people who are at that age borderline where they don't have the best benefits in Medicare that could also possibly qualify for an affordable care plan. Um, many of you might get a tax credit for your children when you go to do your taxes. The affordable care credit works the same way other than they give it to you ahead of time to help you pay for that insurance. The insurance is a quality insurance. It's Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. It's a Coventry HMO. So there's no reason for anyone to be walking around in our community uninsured. We need, as women, this is the message, as women, if we don't take care of ourselves, who's going to take care of us? We are the ones who take care of the family. We are the head of household 90% of the time. We are there for our spouses for those who have spouses. But there are many women in this community that are single mothers, grandmothers, raising their grandbabies for whatever reason. And you need to take care of you. If you don't do that, who's going to take care of those babies, of your family, if something happens to you? One of the things that this president did was to make sure that the essential health benefits that every human being has a right to are included in this plan, that not one single person who is sick will ever be dropped from their insurance or not given insurance because of a pre-existing condition, like my good friend, Pastor Lynn, who we laid to rest three weeks ago because his illness took over when his insurance plan dropped him like a hot potato. This is why this is important. And this is the message I wanna leave with you today, that we got to take care of the health in our families, and it begins with taking care of yourself. Um, in addition, um, I'm very passionate about looking at what you serve your family. Be an educated uh, person who provides healthy meals. You are the ones who control the health in your family by the food that you serve on that table. So children shouldn't be drinking those little Capri Suns, whether they have mold in them or not, because they have sugar and dyes and other things that contribute to conditions such as ADHD, which now everybody says, well, they didn't have this before. Well, 
you know, these food companies spend millions of dollars on research to make sure that they put things in the foods that we eat so we become addicted to them. And these same little children, who many of them, 90% of them, are extremely bright because their brain doesn't stop working, are the children that teachers don't know how to deal with, who now become problematic children, disciplinary problems, delinquents, who end up where? Where are boys right now? Where are they? Exactly. In another money-making business for this country. And there is studies out there that prove and correlate these chemicals and food to violent behavior. So whatever we can do as the mothers, as the leaders, to present a healthy meal to our families, it does begin in the home in that way. So I wanted to leave you with that message because I was inspired to share that with you today. Um, in addition, I do want to say that come next Saturday, November 15th, it is the kickoff for the new enrollment period for the Affordable Care Marketplace. I, myself, and one of my colleagues is here, Abba. Abba, where are you? Stand up. She is a new navigator. And we are available to come to your church, to your community, to your mosque, to wherever you are to help you with enrollment, to answer any questions. Uh, Abba, I wanted to share one more thing with you. Please take these. I brought plenty of these for you. This is a road care, uh, roadmap to health, to a healthy you. It really helps you with all the steps of what you need to do to stay healthy, preventative, and when you go to the doctor, how to choose a doctor, what questions to ask, and what do all those fancy words mean? It's a glossary of definitions because a lot of people who don't have health insurance is because it's a low literacy. They just don't understand the terminology and how it works. But this is a really good resource. It has so much information in plain English for everybody to understand. And we will be getting our Spanish copies as well. But please feel free to call on me or Abba. And Sister Mohammed has my contact information. Um, this is a service we provide. We do not get paid. No one pays us to come out to do this. A lot of people ask that, how much is it going to cost? I know I have to end now. They're, they're rushing me off. So with that said, let me read this resolution that was sponsored by City Council, since I have to wear multiple hats. Whereas the City, Wilmington City Council, is appreciative of individuals who exhibit high levels of enthusiasm, dedication, and service as they perform their job, duties, and community outreach. And whereas Our Time, Inc., owned and operated by Ms. Lorraine Thomas, will showcase mothers, girls, and teachers, MGT, who have performed outstanding work in government, education, and nonprofit organizations, the community, daycare, nonviolence campaigns, and religion in helping to empower other women. And whereas the event will be held at the downtown Wilmington Double Tree Hotel on Saturday, November 8th. The affair will include vendors, door prizes, guest speakers, and various readings. And whereas our time's primary mission is to bring the community together to solve issues such as crime, neighborhood school issues, while working together to stop the violence in our neighborhoods. Ms. Thomas' past initiatives have included a heritage and health festival, lifeline speakers series, and various forums to inspire individuals in our communities to live productive, self-reliant lives. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Council of the City of Wilmington that Wilmington City Council further commends Our Time, Inc. for recognizing women who have made a difference in the lives of others. Thank you so much.